Hi, I'm Travis. This is our 12.1 in a video series I call Design and Code My Personal Website in 12 Hours. Yeah. So YouTube isn't the only thing I do. Last week we built out the notes section, which is a newsletter that I send out every Thursday. This week we're going to be building the podcast section. Every Tuesday I release a podcast episode with my friend Los. It's called Late Nights with Trav and Los. Let's get started. Okay, so what we're doing today is going to be the last official section. Oh, I'm so excited. The last official section of the 12 hours, right? Two sections actually, but here we go. So here's what I've done so far. Uh, I've created a um, the sections-podcast.jade, and that's what I'm typing in right now in the jade files. You can see that right there. And then I've also included this into the index file right here, right there, section podcast, and that's on line 18. Uh, I've created a home, uh, underscore home dash podcast dot sass, and I've imported it into asset CSS main dot SCSS, and that's going to be right there. So I've created the files and imported them into their parent directories. Now we're just going to start creating. So let's look at, let me get rid of this, all right, section podcast yeah all right let's look at what we have to work with so again we're going to use flex and flex center and make the first one because it's going to be the full width call dash uh, two and inside of that we're going to have the uh, the paragraph which is going to be a home lead and it's going to, and the text inside of home lead is dot, 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 and podcasting with friends, period. Let's see what we got. Podcasting with friends. Why is that not centered? Flex. It's not centered because it should be flex dash dash center, not flex dash center. Got the class wrong. You got to get the class right. Now it's centered. Okay. Instead of doing the markup like I usually do, I want to get the styles right first, or at least just start the style. So uh, I'll say section dot podcast, and I just want to get the background uh, URL. What's the URL? Dot dot image, and it's like BG. When, is it podcast? I don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, let's see where it is. Image, and it's going to be podcast-bg. Podcast-bg.jpg. And background size. Okay, I want to make that a subsidiary. Okay, background image, background size, cover and uh, position center. That is how you get the background on there. So immediately I noticed that my text is all the wrong color, white. Okay, and podcasting with friends. Let's look at our design. We're like nearly there already. Okay, so I have inside of the uh, column two, stretching across, I have um, two, two more columns, but they're not like in the grid, you know, they're not like centered columns like before, so I'll use a custom, a custom element, or I could just float everything to, no, here we, here's what we're going to do. Let's go back into our markup, and inside of column two, we're going to have a um, podcast content and then inside of podcast content in our first column we'll have the uh, podcast thumb and that'll just be the image this image source equals um, slash assets images podcast dash thumb dot jpeg I think I think it's a jpeg uh, it's a ping 
And then the next column is going to be the podcast text in which we will put all the text. So there's going to be a few different bits of data in there. There's going to be the date, there's going to be the title, and there's going to be the player. So the date is easy. Uh, it's going to be whatever date and it's going to be whatever title. So I'll just use whatever's there. So let's say 20 uh, January uh, 2015. And now the question might be, hey, Trav, Los Talks Lorem. And so the question might be, hey, Trav, why are you hard coding this and not pulling it in via like an API or a RSS feed and get the, the recent one? I could do that, but I think I want to focus on specific episodes. I'm not always, you know, the most recent one isn't always my the best one to show off what the podcast is about. Maybe there's a podcast, like if I want somebody to learn about the podcast for the first time, what episode do I want them to know about for that experience? W one episode that really captures the spirit of the podcast itself, where maybe the most recent episode is like very specific unto itself, you know. Um, and then the player. So for the player, we're going to go over to my podcast host called Simplecast. This full process designer podcast, let me show you the statistics just quickly. I don't know if I'll edit, edit this out. But the most popular podcast we've ever done is the full process designer. So I'll just grab that one, full process designer, and I'll click the share button, and then I'll get an embeddable little thing. And I want it to be the light theme, right? Or it's going to be the dark theme on top of... Well, let's see what that gives us. All right, so this should give us an embeddable audio player. And we will just plug it in V right there. Save. See what we got. Oh, I wanted the light theme, I guess. Okay, so how does this stack up with what we're trying to accomplish? Well, first of all, my image is wrong. Where's my pod? Why do I not put the cast in, in all these thumb, thumb, d, thumb? Okay, sorry. Okay, here's the correct image. How is that stacking up to what we want? Pretty okay. How did it get on the same line as, as its uh, flex? Let's see here. This all needs to be inside of column two. That's why it's all over there. Mm -mm. Inside of column two. Better? Okay. Now I need to make two columns out of the podcast content. So let's take this class, go here. Here and say a uh, flex. No, no, don't say flex. Say uh, display flex. Great. And then what's the name of the image? Podcast thumb. Margin right is going to be 20 pixels. Fantastic, this is looking good already. Uh, maybe more than 20. What is that? Uh, that's 40. Is it like 30? Yeah, 30. Nice. Okay, um, and then... We have date, title, and player. Player looks fine. Why is this not? So inside podcast content, these elements are not stretching. 
uh, let's see, I want podcast text. I want podcast text to stretch. Stretch out, because it's not filling the container it's in, watch. So podcast container is right there, podcast content. You have the thumb and then the text, but it's, it should stretch, I want it to stretch. So flex, uh, just put flex one. There we go. That's good. Date looks good already. I think the size of the text is fine, and so probably don't need any adjustments there. Title, font uh, size, I think it's going to be 18. Maybe bigger. Yeah, bigger. What is it here? It's 30. It's a lot bigger. Ooh, yeah, that's good. And the line height should be 1.2. Uh, margin bottom is 20. Ooh, I could not have designed something more perfect. That's amazing. OK, so uh, what's the title of it? A full process designer. And what's the publication date? July 21st. Beautiful. I'm thinking that I want um, the the player to always be at the bottom. That's how it is in the design, right? Yeah. It just makes for better lines. Okay, so let's take that, what is it, podcast text, and turn it into display flex. And we're going to say uh, direction, content, vision, text direction, flow direction, flex direction. Flex, flex direction uh, column. And um, justify content. Space. Between. There we go. Yeah, I like it. All right, and now the next is pretty simple. We just have these two big, beautiful buttons. BBB, big, beautiful buttons. Uh, we want to put that in a whole other flex section. So we'll say flex uh, dot, no, no, flex dot, and then, then, so flex class, and then also flex center. Two dashes and uh, column dash one, and this will be a, a home CTA, and then I'll also say oh class website, oh class web, and the text inside is web site, and then there's another column, oh home CTA. to put the URL of the website. It's actually, I know the URL right now. HTTP, Trav, and Los.com. And iTunes, iTubes. <laughs> uh, I don't know the URL, I'll get that later. And the second class is gonna be iTunes. Now the reason I put the second class on these things, ooh, this is, needs to be in another column on its own. Okay, now the reason I put the second class on them would become apparent in just a moment. Okay, uh, the, the classes are, are, are thusly. Home CTA. Uh, it doesn't even need that. Just do a web 
color white and background is whatever this is. Cool. And then what was the other one? iTunes. The background. background is what? That. Boom. Okay. And then there just needs to be, there just needs to be some, just needs to be some margin. Nope. It's not, not like this. Not like this. Podcast content. Yeah, podcast content needs the margin. Margin bottom 20. Holla. Hashtag. Dude. Um, hey, hey, wait, wait. Hey, before we get started, I just wanted to leave a note here at the top of the show. Uh, in the course of the show, we discuss a concept called the full process designer, and I was so excited about this idea uh, during and after our discussion that later on that night, I went... Cliffhanger for more, you'll have to go and listen to that on the website or on travelandlost.com, but anyway, um, this is exciting because that section is done. Now... Uh, we're not going to stop the hour here. In the next video, we're going to do this very last section, which is doesn't even doesn't even need its own hour. It's just basically an email in the bottom there. So uh, that's going to be in the next video. We'll do that like in two minutes. Over 100 people have joined the Dev Tips Patron community since it started a little while ago. These people like the show so much that they that they donate whatever they like per each episode. And not only that, they enjoy special perks like getting the videos early and access to DevTips private chat room, which is really awesome. You can find out why at patreon.com slash devtips. Link is in the description below. Tomorrow, in the next part of this hour, we're gonna be setting up the contact section, which is really just a big fat link to my email address. Until then, stay cool and keep on hacking.